स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेशन वी विल स्टार्ट डिस्कसिंग ए न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ हर्निया वंस वी डिस्कस अबाउट दिस विल हैव ए ब्रीफ वीडियो सेशन ऑफ हाउ लाइव वी विल एग्जामिन हर्निया पेशेंट क्लिनिकली आल्सो विल बी शोन सो बिफोर दैट आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू गो थ्रू माई एस आर बीज क्लिनिकल मेथड्स इन सर्जरी करंट एडिशन हर्निया चैप्टर एग्जामिनेशन टू रीट and go through this ppt then go through the video of how to examine and if you it will if you do it in the parallel way then you will be able to understand very clearly you will not have any confusion so read the book go through this ppt then read uh, go through the video next one going to be in, uh, eventually so if you it will be should learn together then uh, you will be able to understand uh, very clearly so that you will not forget your concept will be very clear so we'll discuss briefly how exactly uh, we will examine hernia patient it's important because it's a very commonest condition in surgically one to exam it's always a kept long case three it is a day to day surgically done procedure and operative surgery also it will be discussed uh, always uh, explain how to do uh, hernia surgery for hernia inguinal hernia patient you have to know so here when you discuss about that basically we'll discuss about the inguinal hernia it's a main important thing I will also discuss about the ventral hernia. Even though there are so many hernias elsewhere in the body, diaphragmatic hernia, congenital hernia, pelvic hernia, so all those things. That is a clear aspect. Next, even till sessions we will discuss. Mainly in the, as far as examination is considered, inguinal hernia is a baseline. So that is the one if you have to learn. Then of course it is a it is a parallel to that is a ventral hernia same way. Examination pattern for any hernia is the same way. Uh, so basically it is inguinal hernia which we will discuss properly. so everything goes to together for other hernias also similar methodology is similar as such so what all this you are going to discuss is examination inguinal groin hernia history taking inspection palpation percussion auscultation and eventually just mention differential diagnosis for inguinal hernia now groin hernia is groin is a gross terminology inguinal is a specific terminology groin corresponds to the inguinal canal inguinal region and femoral region both together it is called a groin that is a totally very uh, very specified uh, demarcated landmark it is it is a combination of inguinal region and uh, femoral region it grossly when you look at the patient you, when you flex the thigh and oppose uh, you know, thigh to the lower abdomen then uh, touches each other that area whatever it touches that area is considered as a clinically or observation wise that is considered as a groin so actually it contains it's a region of inguinal and Uh, femoral region together so examination of hernia that's why what exactly groin meaning you should have said what exactly inguinal region also you should have idea what exactly femoral region also you should have idea so what is the hernia the definition also important for to for you to know hernia it means to bud technical word meaning i'm telling to bud or to protrude of the sac in greek to rupture causing defect in latin it is commonly defined as protrusion of the organ entirely or partly through its containing wall this is the word is very very important So it's containing wall. It has got a containing wall like this, and comes out. It may be visceral hernia in groin, abdominal wall, internal hernia of or hernia through the thoracic wall, or herniation through of the brain through tra traumatized skull, or through foramen magnum into the spinal canal, or muscular hernia through facial defect. So all these possibilities are there. What we are going to discuss about is the inguinal hernia and little bit about ventral hernia. But hernia can occur anywhere. in the skull thorax different places that it can occur this what i meant all these things sir so even anywhere it is a protrusion of the organ content with the through its contained wall that is the definition actually about the word meaning also often they will ask in viva sometimes in mcq defect is abnormal opening which may be natural or acquired and usually accompanied by lining of the cavity from which protrudes usually that sac or what is called sac actually hernial sac it is called as so if you if you see observe hernia surgery few times so then you will understand what exactly sac means it's very very important structure for hernia dissection for hernia identification and so on so sac only will identify the first sac then you will get into the hernia actually hernia is a covering of the uh, content as such the definition again i'll repeat it i'll re i'll reform the definition again it got so many meanings that's what i want to tell in actual fact hernia means defect defect is the hernia actually defect is the hernia actually and sac defect is the hernia and the sac which contains protrusion of content is not mandatory which is the eventual effect and that is why in many occasions hernia may present only with the dragging pain without swelling occult or patient gives history of occasional protrusion of the swelling but not always and when clinician examines the patient expansional cuff impulse may not be present now this point is very very important so hernia is a defect 
एंड सैक्ट देर मिलता